see you later. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Not having a beer or a heel thing was a thing I need to remember. So in this video we're going to talk about what my experiences were with the Sport Glide and the Fat Boy and uh, my, my opinions on them. So they both seem to be fantastic motorbikes but I think the... Uh, I couldn't tell which one I would rather own or more importantly spend my own money on. Um, what I would say is first of all straight away is that with both of these bikes being brand new, the first thing I would have to do is also factor in the cost of a new exhaust, or a different exhaust. Uh, the the ones that come with motorbikes straight from the from the Harley dealership or stock uh, exhausts really have muted uh, these motorbikes. The Fat Boy probably sounds still a little bit better than the, the Sport Glide. Um, Partly, this, uh, that may be due to the Sport Glide has the panniers on the back, which may be muting the sound even more to me as the rider, um, and the, the Fat Boy obviously doesn't have, have them. Uh, but there, then there's also the value difference. So the Fat Boy is around about £22,000, and the Sport Glide is around about £17,000, £18,000. So you, there's a good £4,000 difference in price. The Fat Boy has the larger engine, the 114 cubic inch, which is about a 1.86 litre engine, and the Sport Glide is a 107 cubic inch, which is about a 1.74 litre engine. Uh, so, but, but both effectively massive engines, and certainly when revving the Fat Boy, the amount of momentum that's still in the engine just from doing little revs is quite spectacular. Um, both of these bikes, one of the similarities with them is their simple analog dial that they've got. Their handlebars, their, the ability to get on them straight away, they, they felt very similar uh, in terms of uh, weight and, and I think in weight wise they are very similar. I think wet weight the Fat Boy is about 324 kilograms and the Sport Glide with the panniers, I think it's with the panniers, it's 317. So you're, so you're talking about less than a 10 kilogram difference. You never tell uh, that. But yeah, the, the analog dials, the shape of the tank, the tank's probably a little bit bigger on the Fat Boy. Uh, the suspension is different. However, on the Sport Glide, you have more of a, a screen up front. And the screen, I actually noticed having a bit of a difference. In terms of power wise, the Fat Boy is around about 94 horsepower. The Sport Glide is 82 horsepower, so you're talking about 12 horsepower difference. And in terms of Newton meters, uh, the Sport Glide is 139, and the Fat Boy is 155. So the Fat Boy is has more horsepower, the larger engine, the more Newton meters, weighs more, costs more, also has footboards as well. So I I do like footboards. They didn't have heel um, heel gear changes, so it's still uh, using your toes for up and down. But the Sport Glide didn't have footboards, so that's something I'd probably uh, I I think I enjoy when you're on a big cruise like this. Footboards definitely I, I quite like uh, when I was riding because my bike, the Kawasaki 1500, has footboards, and uh, it was very easy going from the, my Kawasaki to the Fat Boy. And when it went on to the Sport Glide, there was a like, oh, hold on a minute, where's where's the footboards? Um, and just putting your foot in the peg, you feel, uh, it feels less luxury, I think it's probably the way to describe it. Um, in terms of the way that they go, they, they both go like absolute stink. Um, and the, I did have the opinion that the, the Fat Boy was the heavier bike when actually riding. I think the tyres are probably, or the wheel sizes are probably more of an effect on that. I think the Sport Glide has slightly narrower, uh, taller tyres than the than the Fat Boy, and that makes it f more nimble, I think, and feel 
lighter uh, when riding. You know, 10 kilograms, you probably can't tell the difference with actual weight, but with the tyre width, I think that's probably where you definitely feel the difference there. Stopping power wise, uh, really good. Um, both of them, their uh, front brakes and their rear brakes, uh, absolutely no complaints there whatsoever. One thing I did notice with uh, when going down gears on the Sport Glide, much more of an interesting engine whine I'm hearing. Like if, I'm, if I'm absolutely pegging it and then I come off the accelerator, pull in the clutch, whatever the bits inside the, the motorbike gear house or something, it's like there's a real me you hear it coming down. I, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, maybe something of which I, I might actually appreciate more because you can hear the engine a bit more on the, on the coming down, um, but it, it's just a difference that I, I definitely noticed uh, between the two. I didn't, I didn't hear that on the fat boy uh, whenever I did any uh, hard accelerating. Unfortunately, this footage that we've got here, the Fat Boy was a sunnier time of day, and the Sport Glide is uh, on a slightly cloudier day. But it was a lovely warm day. Um, both of them, uh, I did get a little bit nervous at traffic lights, thinking that the engine was going to cut out. So my current bike is a bit dodgy in that it could uh, it could uh, conk out at any moment. Um, and with these, every time we got to the traffic lights, you really heard it start to do its proper Harley Davidson potato, 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 potato. And because the exhausts were so quiet, you really hear just like what just sounds like engine struggling rather than it having a slower idle. I, I, I probably am not explaining it quite right. I've probably just had the wrong experience of it. Maybe just need more time uh, behind the saddle of it. Uh, but I, I would love to try both of these bikes again, but with a proper sounding exhaust. The next thing I have is I thought there might be a bit of a the fat boy is like the the big man of of the place, uh, and the price wise, yeah, you're talking about twenty two uh, or twenty four thousand pounds somewhere around about that. Um, and is that like the king? I think yeah, there's the breakout and all that kind of stuff. But this is the one that Har uh, Arnie has in uh, Terminator Two, so. The, the fat boy is incredible, like instantly get on it, you feel cool. The Sport Glide, uh, without, because it didn't have the footboards, I didn't feel quite as cool. And the screen, I would say, also takes away some of the coolness. Um, but in terms of usability, I felt the Sport Glide was better. So in terms, so is the danger of the Sport Glide is that it's the cheaper one, it's the smaller engine one, it's less powerful one. The only people that buy that are the people that can't afford a fat boy. That's what I thought I might feel when doing it. However, the amount of benefits that the Sport Glide has in terms of that screen, the panniers, possibly the engine efficiency for longer uh, tour, the seat as well on the Sport Glide I thought was a, a fractionally more comfortable. Although my my coccyx um, on both bikes was sore. I think that's more to do with my body shape than anything else but on the Sport Glide uh, my coccyx was less suffered less than it did on the uh, on the Fat Boy. Fat Boy noticed it a little bit more. Um, and I, I rode the Sport Glide second after the Fat Boy so you think it would be actually more sore going on there. Uh, so the question is in the end I, I, I wouldn't complain about having either of these bikes. If I won the lottery what bike would I buy? Without a doubt I'd buy them both. If I'm just going to be doing a quick cruise into town and I just want to show off, I'm going for the fat boy. If I'm actually going for a longer journey where I may want to bring my wallet, my drone, my uh, change of maybe change of clothes, uh, I'll, I'll take the, the sport glide. In terms of my current riding experience, which is very little, I haven't even done any long trips or anything like that, the fat boy is the one that probably that wins for me in terms of if, if money's no object. So I said, which one do you want? You have them. We'll give them to you tomorrow. I would probably go the Fat Boy just because of the presence it has on the on the road. I think. I think. Not one hundred percent sure. But in terms of possibly living with a motorbike, owning a motorbike, going to places on a motorbike, then it's probably the Sport Glide that I would go for. Either way, 
uh, both of them absolutely fantastic bikes bins of power loads of power um, no complaints from either of them on that way uh, but yeah in terms of yeah probably long term living with I'd probably go for the Sport Glide showing off the fat boy and it does it's just so cool so cool but needs to have the exhaust so again factor in the price if it's 20 what's it is about 24,000 pounds for the fat boy and factor in another 2,000 pounds in fact factor in a Jekyll and Hyde which is about 3,000 plus the again it put out and all that kind of stuff yeah factor out another two three thousand pounds for exhausts or even maybe slip-ons might work uh, with these um, but uh, yeah there's no I, 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 there was no faff with it. Uh, they both have cruise control. They didn't have heated grips. That'd be another thing that you might want to get if you're wanting to ride in winter time. So actually, with the Sport Glide, because you're potentially going to use that more all year round, I would probably want to also invest in getting heated grips um, on the the Sport Glide. So the Sport Glide, I would add in footboards, heated grips, add an exhaust. The Fat Boy is definitely just a summer rider, I think. Um, and wouldn't change, and just a, a new exhaust. That's all I'm probably looking on for it. So anyway, that's uh, that's my opinions of uh, the first rides that I've had of them. Um, they're just so cool. I just really, really want to win the lottery and get both of them, uh, and and a garage to be able to house both of them, and a wife that doesn't complain about me having both of them in the garage. Uh, oh, we could all dream. Anyway, so here's the uh, carry on to the watching the rest of the video footage of them side by side. Nothing too interesting, this is just my test rides, but it'll give you an opinion, uh, an idea of the, the kind of slow speed stuff, the turny stuff, and the accelerating stuff uh, that went in shot. There you go, bye bye.